Ward 2C has recently approved the renewal of three-year leases of two medicinal marijuana dispensaries. The committee saw the economic and health advantages of having a legal dispensary in the community. One resident at the meeting did not agree. There's a lot of African Americans in prison because of um, drug dealing on the corners and on the streets. So now the government could capitalize off of these dispensaries while we still have people in jail. Representatives from the D.C. Health Department were not surprised by the concerns. The ANC has uh, comments on the lack of or over concentration of cultivation centers or dispensaries in the area, the location for uh, to ensure that it's not uh, too close to halfway houses, schools, and things of that nature, and the negative or positive impact on uh, crime. A study from the University of California shows no correlation between dispensaries and an increase in violence. There is no downside to having a dispensary because the uh, crime goes down. If you look at the statistics, crimes go down when there's this dispensary, a legal medical dispensary. Those in favor of the dispensaries are looking to change its negative stigmas. It's totally legitimate and feel uh, the idea of whether it be a recreational and something that's bad. Currently in Washington, D.C., there are five medicinal marijuana dispensaries. With the renewal of the three-year leases for both the Connecticut and Rhode Island Avenue dispensaries, the D.C. Health Department is optimistic in their plans of having one dispensary in all eight wards of D.C. Reporting for Howard University News Service, I'm Maya Reese.